Hello everybody, <clears throat> it's AM Figures here. Today I'm bringing you another review. Um, this one of the brand new SH Figuarts Super Saiyan Blue Sun Goku. Uh, <clears throat> I uh, haven't really, you know, I haven't messed with this figure yet. So we'll just go over the box quick and then I'll break them open and uh, we can go over them together. So here is the front of the box. Pretty dope, I like it, I like it. There's the side. And the other side here. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Son Goku. And then right there. And the top, right there. And then here is the back. Somebody to look at on the bottom there, my apologies. But uh, yeah, so. <clears throat> Just uh, give me a few moments and so I can open him and I'll be right back. And we're back. So here is the figure and everything it comes with. He w he's about $45, so wasn't expecting anything uh, spectacular with this guy. It's about the same thing with the uh, uh, Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku. Um, it's pretty much, it's the same body. Uh, just a repaint of that body and it's pretty much the same accessories as well so as you can see you got two fists here two uh fighting pose hands two kamehameha hands two open keyblast open palm keyblast hands and of course his instant transmission hand <clears throat> and as you can see he comes with four faces one straight face right there one smirking face one yelling face and one teeth gritted face. Something I wanna point out right off the bat, none of these have eyes pointing to the side, which I'm very happy about. I normally like to display my figures facing front. That's just me, that's just how I am. And a lot of the times, like with the, Sa the Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku, it was his teeth gritted face, but it was only with his eyes pointed to the side. Did not enjoy that very much, <laughs> um, but they have corrected it here, so that's good. I like it, that's just my personal preference. Some of you might like the eyes pointed to the side. I only like it for certain figures, like for Majin Vegeta, would be, uh, would, would have been very nice if they didn't screw that up. But anyways, um, just give me one second, uh, or not one second, actually, I'm just gonna put the camera down, uh, lean it up so I can get this guy out and we can look at articulation. So let's set this down, like so, if I can get it position properly there we go and we'll break this guy out of his packaging let's get all the plastic off him i'm gonna have to take him off screen for just a sec so i can get the plastic off just a moment my apologies it can be somewhat uh, annoying to get some of these things off like this one in particular under his shoulder pad was giving me a problem or not shoulder pad, but his sleeve. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. Now we got everything off. So I'll do a quick 360 of the figure so you guys can get a full view of him. So here's the front. Honestly, I gotta say, it's a pretty nice looking Goku. I'm very glad that I picked this guy up. Um, you know, they released a lot of Gokus. I'll be the, the first to say that they release a shit ton of Gokus. Or no, I won't be the first to say that. That's what I meant. Uh, to say they release a shit ton of Gokus. Um, but honestly, I'm, I'm glad they dropped this one. I've, I'm very, very glad because it looks amazing, in my opinion. I really like the paint. Uh, the paint apps on it. I really like the... Re the reuse of the rosé mold for Super Saiyan Blue. I think it looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, so we'll jump right into articulation real quick. So first thing I'm going to show you is how to change the faces. Um, it's the same, you know, standard, just like any other SH figure arts. It's just like the rosé. You just pop the bangs off and then pop the face off. And then you pick whichever face you want and put it back on and there you go i realize it's the same face but you, you get the point <laughs> um 
So, looking up, we get about that much. Oh, here, let me try and get him into a straight pose so it's not like deceiving how far he can look up. <laughs> Jesus, I, I can't get him into one for the life of me. Okay, there we go. That's probably the best it's gonna get. So we can look up about that far. Look down about that far. So nothing, nothing, uh, you know, it's not bad, but nothing, nothing spectacular either. You know, it's average. Um, and then shoulders. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. Comes up. About that far, it looks like. So again, you know, about, about the norm. Uh, he does have double jointed elbows. Let's see how far we can get those to bend. Pretty damn good. Pretty much up uh, 45 degrees, I'd give that. Um, and he does have bicep swivel. Right there. And here we go. The hands, twist that shit around. And you can move it in and out or up and down, however you want to position the joint. Um, now for ab crunch, let's see. Crunch down. Sorry, I gotta pull him off screen. I'm trying to just get him to crunch as far as he can, but he's not really uh, cooperating here. <laughs> um, there we go, that's about as far, sorry to cover the camera. That's about as far down as he goes. And as for back, that's about as far back. Oh. That's about as far back as he'll go, just like that. So not bad. Um, this part here, just like the Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku and Yamcha, um, this part is articulated, you can spin it around, that's nice. I, I, I like when, I like that stuff. Just the, the little things that you can really use to add to the, po to p the posing, yeah, it's pretty nice. But, uh, anyways, let's get it out of the way. We'll look at the legs. Kick up about that high. Kick back. About that far so not bad and he does have double jointed knees he can almost kick himself in the ass um as for the feet he, they bend down about that far up about that far he does have toe articulation that's always a nice inclusion and he does have the ankle pivot so that's very good um, overall, a very nice looking figure. Um, I will be doing a giveaway of not this exact figure, but I am receiving another one very shortly that I purchased specifically for a giveaway, um, on my Instagram. If, uh, if you'd like to see that, I'll leave the name of my Instagram in the description below, but I'll also state it here. It is am.figures. If you head over there, you can leave a leave a follow, and then you'll see when I post the giveaway uh, details. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so it's a pretty short review. Um, there really wasn't much to go over. Uh, it's a it's a standard figure. It's the same as the Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku. It's the same mold and everything. Um, just different paint apps and I do like it a lot like just to take a second to talk about the paint applications I mean look at that like wow <laughs> um they they definitely do seem to be adding more shading to their figures I don't know if you can tell but it there's, looks like there's some shading done on the pants up here as well um it just overall looks fantastic I uh I really like it I gotta say um so yeah I'd say don't don't uh skip this guy um i i understand like i understand if you want to because again they've released a, a lot a lot of gokus so it's understandable but my recommendation would be not to skip him he's like 40 bucks which isn't bad for these figures and i think he's definitely worth it um so yeah uh that's pretty much gonna do it for this video uh, I hope you guys are having a great day, night, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you may be. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't enjoy, 
you know, well, you can leave a comment too if you enjoyed. <laughs> um, if you didn't enjoy it, feel free to leave a dislike, but I ask if you do leave a dislike, please leave some feedback, let me know how I can improve. Uh, like, tell me why you dislike the video. It doesn't even have to be like constructive criticism, just tell me why you didn't like the video. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll see what I can work on to, to fix whatever you didn't like. Um, and uh, yeah. So if you really liked, you could hit the sub button and you could hit the little bell button next to the subscribe button that'll uh, notify you whenever I upload. So you'll be the first to see new videos like this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.